Hello everyone, so since school year is over, I'm going to show you how you can clean your Google Classroom. So I have here my classes, okay? So since school year is over, I'm going to clean my Google Classroom since I don't want my students uh, uh, to, you know, to do some interactions here, okay? Since uh, school year is over and of course, it's very hard for me to monitor it since it's vacation time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, these Google Classrooms or these classrooms here uh, in Archive, okay? Now, if you're going to archive a Google class, don't worry because all the information, files, and so forth, uh, it will be stored in your uh, Google Drive, okay? So, what we have here, it's very easy to archive a Google class, okay? You just click these three dots here, make sure that you are in uh, Classes, and then, of course, you choose Archive, Okay, so as you can see here, archiving a class causes it to be archived for all participants. So, archive classes can be modified by teachers or students unless they are restored. So, you can always restore it if you want to, if, especially if you want to use it as your basis again if you're going to create a new Google Classroom for uh, the next or coming school year. Okay, so this class will move to your archive classes. Class files will remain in Google Drive. So let's choose archive. So that's it. So let's do here in other uh, Google uh, Classrooms, Google Classes. Okay, here, that's archive here. Okay, especially if you have a lot of uh, classes here, just to make sure that you have a clean start every uh, uh, every next school year. Okay. okay. Here, let's archive it. Okay. So if you want to check, okay, if you want to restore it again, that classroom. So you just click the main menu here, and then you choose archive classes and everything, every class that you've archived, it's here. Okay, and you can always uh, restore it if you want. Okay, but if you really, uh, if you have a lot of classes here and you really don't want to use it anymore or use it as your basis, so you just delete it. Okay, you can always uh, delete it. Like for example here. Okay, so if you're going to delete it, no worries because again, class files will remain in Google Drive. So. Um, if you are using an ordinary Gmail account, of course, you are limited when it comes to storage, okay? Because all the files that you have here in Google Classroom will be stored in your Google Drive. However, if you're using an ordinary uh, Gmail account at gmail.com, definitely you have a limited storage. Unlike if you have a school account, for our case, for public teachers, we're given school account, which is at depth.gov.ph so we have unlimited storage okay so there's no problem with us uh, for us but again if you have limited storage you can go to your google drive and of course delete some of the files that you don't need anymore okay if you notice if sometimes you cannot upload anymore in your google classroom or you cannot save or create classroom that means that you have a full storage okay so you need to do some cleanup okay so again if you want to clean your google classroom you just archive the classes and then you can always restore it if you want to.